So now I'm just about to install the intercooler. Didn't quite fit, but there's where you make your holes. It sits three inches higher so the hoses don't reach. I did get some extra hose. Maybe I need flexible hose. This isn't that flexible. It doesn't bend very well. But I'm going to see what I can do for today. The I went and got a Edelbach air filter. There's no way I can install the factory air filter. It just does not fit from where the battery is positioned and I can't put the battery any other place. I have the clutch system hooked up now with the hydraulic line attached to the clutch master cylinder. But the plastic hydraulic line is too short. This is unique plastic pipe. It's 5 16 on the outside and it's got a tiny little hole in the middle of only about two millimeters. So it's got really thick walls. So I put a little piece of three, inch, three inches of copper pipe in between and these are just compression fittings. And I totally believe that I'm never going to have a problem because the thickness and rigidity of this high strength pipe. So the wiring's almost done, like the wiring is done under the hood. When I set my red and I just got to plug this in. What I'm going to do is, oh, got to get up my old man. Is when the air conditioning switches on, I'm going to have a relay and this teed off into this circuit in parallel, I guess you'd say, a heavy duty relay, so that it can turn the air conditioning fans on at the same time as the compressor, which will be, con the relay will be controlled by the Chrysler dash controls. And when the relay is not activated by air conditioning, this will just work normal when the engine gets too warm and the engine ECU tells it to turn the fans on. Now I cut the holes the same size as those so your grommets just drop right in. I put grease on them so the grommet holes would never rust out and I've already set the intercooler in there and it pins drop right into those holes just perfectly and the other adjustment I had to make was this little part here. This hits this tube that comes out at an angle for the intercooler. So I just heated this area up red hot with my acetylene torches and banged it in 3 eighths of an inch with a 5 pound sledge. And now there's no interference when I put this coupler on because it's a little bit bigger that goes there. The radiator just mounts on four pins or four posts and it's all supported by the intercooler. Now this sits three inches too high so the pipes don't line up like I mentioned but it's also three inches shorter. The other one for the Chrysler or the Dodge which is laying on its side now vertical is 21 inches tall that way and this setup is 18 inches. So that all works out, actually works out perfectly. So I still, I just have to make different upper rad supports, but that's no big deal. So it's almost ready.